Hello guys and welcome to Usatility. Do you know what? We are going to see how to launch and play Summoner's War on PC, from now you are displaying it on your screen. We will be able to efficiently download and install Summoner's War and enjoy this game on the Windows computer with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and large monitor. So it's time to have fun, let's go my friends. First of all buddies, the first thing to do is to open our main browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's go to the current URL I'm highlighting in green. Now, you can discover on the screen of the PC. You don't need to type it, simply because there's the link in the video description and the first main comment. We ended up right here on our own internet site of Usatility, at which we have a meticulous explanation on how you can obtain Summoner's War on laptop or computer. We search down a tad and just click on the, download game on PC, button. Once clicking on that link, we get to the site of LD Player. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will run to enjoy the game Summoner's War on our PC. It is now obvious that we get a number of pros of running the emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. So we will start downloading the Summoner's War by simply clicking on the button Download Summoner's War on PC that I have marked in green. The step is clicking on that button, and the download step takes no time at all. Here it is, this is the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we need to click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow modifications to the device. We have clicked yes. I minimize the browser to find the installation software better. The installer is very easy to use. It is made up of two possibilities, install, and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path really does. We only click it. And then we observe that we, VE got here the path in which the emulator is going to be installed. If we would you like to modify this directory we have to click on this, browse, button, and therefore we decide on another directory and set up the emulator exactly where we would like. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. Then, I click on back. So I just click on install. At this time, before beginning setting up that emulator, will also be possible that it will present us one or two computer software deals to put on on our computer. Because I do not want any of those computer software, I just click many times on the reject option. Voila! The install begins and it's going to proceed together with the download of all these megabytes which are shown on that computer screen. As you download it, it could possibly be more or less megabytes. The download speed will go at a higher speed or slower, determined by your connection and depending on the data transfer rate of the emulator web servers. At the moment they are going quite fast. The download is completed, then instantly it proceeds with the setup step. The installation will need a little bit more or less time according to the strength of your computer or laptop, the more powerful it actually is, the shorter the setup time and vice versa. If we put together the download and software setup step it may take a considerably long time, so have patience. It has now ended on my side. At present, the emulator has been started on autopilot. As you can discover, down here, we have a progress bar which will move forward to the right and when it comes to the ending, the emulator is going to be launched for the very first time. The fact is the emulator has been started, here it is for the very first time. Plus LD Store is instantly started, which is a kind of Google Play. That isn't the optimal approach to set up the game, so I will not recommend it, for the reason that in some cases the LD Store installs an outdated version of the game app. I am about to explain the way to install the video game utilizing the Google Play and therefore I recommend you to do it this way. The initial thing we are required to begin doing is to head to the computer's desktop by clicking on this icon that I am indicating in green color. Before we carry on, as now you can see, it created two app icons there on the PC desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player app icon will be the one we're considering. Anytime we desire to run Summoner's War on the PC, we double-click on that app icon and consequently start the emulator. The LD multiplayer icon isn't related to multiplayer or nearly anything like that. The fact is that, it's an software icon that we may almost certainly never ever use. Shall we perform the next phase, which is actually a requirement, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is presented. Right here we have got to sign in. At this time once we're here, we must absolutely accomplish the following step that is obligatory. So that we mouse click on, sign in. Presently it says, checking info. 
It can occasionally get stuck in, checking info, that's why it doesn't proceed. If that's the case, you may attempt to log in and after a number of hours and it will surely most likely be corrected. At this time we will type our email and password. The email really needs to be a Gmail email and its related password. For instance you can utilize the exact same email address you use right now in your own YouTube account. Therefore I am going to enter my details and I'll return immediately after I have completed it. Voila! Details typed in. Below is Google welcoming us and offering us the terms of service. We can consent to them all simply by pressing, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. You can also leave it checked and it'll build a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want. We simply click on accept. By now Google Play is launched as preferred choice and immediately. If the Google Play isn't presented immediately and you have no idea how to run it by hand, I explain to you how to do this. The first thing is to navigate to the emulator desktop by hitting this icon marked in green color. At present we navigate to the system apps folder. And we select the Play Store icon. Well, we're right here into Google Play. What we're going to perform right now is go here to, search for apps and games. And thus we are going to research Summoner's War. Generally there we have got it. We will pick the first result. On this page we get the game app. How about we click there on the, install, option that I am just presenting now in green. This action will begin the software installation. Straight away it will download and install the video game, it will take a little while or perhaps it might possibly be very quick. It again all will depend on on the web connection. It has already completed setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by hitting the following option that I'm highlighting in green, if you want to run Summoner's War for the very first time. We're currently on the emulator desktop, and as a consequence we're going to simply click the new Summoner's War software icon that's been generated. This game app is started for the first time. Here we have it, I am able to click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume level of this emulator. It is here, we use the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume, this manner we do not rely on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we will turn on the big screen, for which we have two choices. This one is the very first one, we mouse click on this particular icon that I'm mentioning in green color. Thus the screen is maximized, experiencing one border on top, one at the right and one at the bottom. Assuming that we aspire to experience the application in full screen, we click that app icon. And we'd at present be experiencing the game in full screen function. To leave the 100% screen setting, push the F11 key. And we might at present end up being in normal computer screen mode. At this point, I am starting to demonstrate you the keys mapping that is surprisingly appealing. This strategy we will likely be capable to make use of the game application more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this application icon. And here you will have the ability to get the necessary setups. I am going to keep the standard settings, though if you prefer to adjust that, you can do it now without any problem. I take on this chance to say that occasionally, when starting the game application a black screen shows up, if it is light bit and you notice the black display in this emulator does not commence, I comment a achievable solution. We can browse here, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator preferences, in the advanced choice we have a large number of resolutions. This is the image resolution that we have at the moment decided on automatically and we must select any of these additional image resolutions, for instance this one down below. We go for it and consequently click on save. It will tell us to restart this emulator and when rebooted, most likely the emulator will commence and your black screen will go away. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our own language. Occasionally it happens that the emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for instance, in Mandarin. And as a consequence to set it in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. Then right here inside of many other settings, we just click the, language, drop down. We are able to pick the language we need, Spanish, Japanese, and so on. When the language is decided, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, along with the video game, the next time we use it, will also be in the picked language. At present, you can find another information that we must take into account, and this is that we will receive an email reporting that a brand new equipment has been connected with our Google account. It is going to ask us if we are the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we ought not get worried, since the emulator is behaving like a Google Android electronic device. 
so you can discover which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we come here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Be sure to go here to the, model, selection. And there we determine that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for our tutorial. I hope that you liked it, particularly that everyone thought it was helpful. In that case, bring it a good thumb up, subscribe, and if you have comments, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. You may also comment things on my Twitch channel, I actually do live streams on occasion, you have it below in the video description and in the first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of those video tutorials that are appearing on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the future training videos. Bye.